Hi everyone, Angus Campbell here. Now later in the day on um, Wednesday, August the 28th, 2024. Hot on the heels of uh, just publishing, publishing the first video on uh, the Hurricane tune-up. Uh, back in the garage with its carbs and air filter on the bench. But also here we've got the original carbs that Chris sent us as well. And uh, the first thing I did was check how many turns out the air screw was and it was over one and a half again so same issue it's going to be far too lean so what we're going to do is we're going to check out the internals of the original carbs they look as though they've been repainted quite a few blemishes on them though but they don't look too bad and they are its original carbs. You notice that um, no extension on the tickler, which is a giveaway. And also, it looks like an open hole on this side, but that's that's blanked off. Right, let's take uh, the top and the bottom off this. Let's see where we are. Right, carb. Um, disassembled into major components it's um, been rebuilt I think it looks like a new gasket new needle the uh, slide is a, a three and a half cut away bit of wear on it but nothing excessive really and we've got um, a 106 needle jet and a 150 main jet so let's nip into uh, the office and have a look at the uh, The owner's handbook for uh, for specs um, but off the top of my head I think that's correct right here we go dug out my uh, my old x75 handbook and uh, you can see the carbs are spot on main jet 150 throttle valve three and a half which is what we've got needle position two it's in Position two, needle jet 106. Right, um, the other thing to check is that the pilot jet isn't blocked. I've already done a, a sort of a blow test on it and it seems to be fine, but there's also another test I can do by pushing some uh, petrol through it. So uh, we'll do that with that carb, rebuild it, and we'll do it with the other two carbs. Check those out and rebuild them. Sorry, reassemble. And then I think what we'll do is um, swap out the new carbs on the rack for the original carbs. And uh, we'll then balance up the slides on the rack, which is easy to do with the rack off and on, visually, obviously. And then we'll set the air screws, pilot screws, out round about one turn maybe just over one turn and we'll take it from there actually give me a minute i'll just check through this book because this might give us a an indication as well in the carburetor section about uh, where to begin with the uh, pilot screw setting right here we go for initial settings on screw approximately three quarters of a turn which is less than I was thinking but I seem to remember when I set my hurricane to that it was running too rich at that so anyway you, you can see then just how far out these how wrong the uh, pilot screw settings were and why um, Chris's motor um, wouldn't come off full choke for a long time and, and even then sometimes would spit back through the carbs when uh, when picking up is far too lean at the bottom end right we're getting there i think right next day so uh, we've determined that um the carbs are at the correct spec with respect to uh jet slides and needle position two yep now, I'm just waiting for um, some confirmation from 
Chris regarding what I in, intend to do. So we're going to refit the, well, first of all, we'll check the other two original carbs are okay. And then we're going to refit them onto the rack. What I'd prefer to do if um, it's approved by Chris is to perhaps um, use the ethanol resistant floats and needles from the new carbs and possibly um, the main uh, needle jet too. Maybe even um, the needles. But I won't do that if um, Chris would like to keep these uh, in, in one piece and uh, sell them if you like. But anyway, what we can do in the meantime is we can certainly get these carbs off the rack and put the uh, the the bodies, the main bodies of the new one uh, of the old ones, the original ones, back on in preparation for um, finishing these off once we've got um, the preference from Chris. So I'll get on with that now. You don't want to watch this. It's um, an absolute pain in the backside. Uh, but I've done it lots of times before, so we'll just crack on. Um, but essentially, it's get the, uh, the petrol lines and banjos off, undo the uh, mounting nuts and bolts on the rack, undo the... Uh, The top of the uh, the carbs, and then just pull the uh, pull the carb off, and start taking some of the bits and pieces to bits. Just a quick update while we're waiting uh, Chris's instructions. The uh, the other two original carbs checked out okay with respect to uh, settings and jets, etc. Except for the uh, the pilot screw setting, which was wrong. And I'm just now taking these off the rack, but I've noticed something on the first one which could have been a bit of a problem. And that is that you can see there that that's been painted inside the float bowl. That's the um, stub which the uh, main jet assembly screws into. And the ethanol's already started uh, ripping that paint off. So that would have gone into the bottom of the float bowl at some point, and I'm sure would have uh, made a bit of a mess. And I'm sure it's going to be the same in the other carbs. Anyway, let's uh, take them apart as far as we can. Oh, the other uh, observation as well is they've used a washer, sorry, a gasket on here. And I, I don't think that's right. I think the intention is that um, the O-ring which is there, mates onto that smooth metal surface for a good seal. Um, I've checked the part, but parts book and it doesn't specify that gasket, so we'll leave them out on the rebuild. Right, let's crack on getting the rest of this apart. Right, we've got uh, a veritable array of parts from the uh, new carbs to the originals. And um, as we suspected, all of them show where effectively you know, that tower has been sprayed when it probably shouldn't have been really, and the paint's peeling on all of them. So uh, that's a, a problem that we've managed to avert. Um, perhaps should also clarify, I don't know whether I mentioned this earlier, that um, when we first looked at the bike, uh, I didn't appreciate that actually these new carbs have been painted this sort of dull dull sort of metallic steel silver um, whereas the, the more correct colour is uh, as per the original carbs which have been painted so why these were done a different colour I don't, I don't know because I believe it's by the same restorers right so uh, just waiting for I say instructions from Chris, but what I'd like to do is uh, transfer a lot of the innards from the new carbs into the into the old ones. So uh, main jet, needle jet, needle slides, springs, etc. So basically, all of that except for 
the top hat, which is a different colour. But uh, we'll, we'll hold fire there because um, I could start putting these bodies on onto the rack, but then it's more difficult getting the uh, slide etc in set up with uh, or with the arm in the way. So I'd rather do that before we uh, before we install it, before we install the car body. So let's wait to hear from Chris and we'll take it from there. Right, it's a bit later on in the evening, uh, same day. Uh, been in touch with Chris and he says uh, give him the, the go ahead to uh, mix and match so we can give the um, original carbs as much help as we can in um, maintaining good running. As I say, I don't think they're, they're t well, I can't see any sort of, you can't see it very well, but there's very little visible wear on the, on the bodies, to be honest. Um, so what I'm going to do is we'll certainly transfer over the ethanol resistant um, floats and also uh, their sort of rubber tipped needles as well uh, for the eth ethanol based fuel. Uh, but we'll also um, transfer over the jets because the main jets don't wear, but needle jets do. Um, and probably the needles as well. So most of the internal gubbins will, will transfer over, including the, uh, the slides, etc. here. So uh, it's unfortunate that I have to take these apart, really, because the, uh, the carb tops don't match the silver on, on those, so we'll swap them out for these. So rather than... Uh, prevaricate any further I just need to get on with it and um, I've done this job so many times but I still hate it but let's get on with it well about 40, 40 minutes later one down two to go keep going right there we go half past nine in the evening so about all together Two and a half hours work, but that includes um, balancing up the slides and, importantly, the uh, the chokes as well, and getting everything onto the rack. So there we are, all done. Looks a bit of a carnage behind, but that's what's left of the uh, new Premiers without its guts and the uh, the guts that we replaced in the uh, original carb. So we'll just bag those up. But we'll put these back together for uh, Chris. I what I also did was I ch I changed out the Premier springs. They're, they're far too strong. They are so I put the originals in. But other than that, um, the guts of the Premiers. I did find um, one incorrect setting. Actually, one of the needles was was on a. I think it was number one position so that would make one pot leaner than the other two um sort of in the sort of third quarter range as well so uh it's a good job we picked that up right let me get this lot together and tidy up a bit and then uh, we'll have a semblance of order there we go the uh skeletons of the uh, premiers are back together without the internals. They're the internals that um, we nicked out of them that we've replaced effectively on the um, original. So uh, Chris has got a reference point because I think he um, he possibly wants to buy the parts and uh, sell these complete. And there's the rack ready to uh, go back on the Hurricane. So we can box the carbs back up and also what we've been liaising about today is um, I've got a 8 inch conical hub twin linear shoe cable in stock uh, with front brake light switch and um, just did a bit of checking up today because it's a long time since I had my Oricon and, and I thought it had a front brake light switch and it should have one and uh, Chris's 
hasn't. So whether or not um, a bit of the harness has been tucked back under the tank out of the way, I don't know, but the cable certainly on it at the moment certainly doesn't have it and is too short. So we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to fit that as well. So um, we'll be back up to um, the bike early next week, do a bit of fitting, and then we'll fire her up. I've, uh, as I say, I've balanced up the uh, slides and the chokes. Uh, the chokes are so that they all rise evenly, which they now do. And then the slides, I balance on the back side. Because you can shine a shine a light down. It's got a torch. You can shine a light down, and you can see there's a minimal of opening there. But it's just easier to see because you've got a sort of a, a flat end to the slide on this side rather than a curve. So you get a bit a better. You can you can uh, compare the gaps, and it doesn't matter how long. Oh, how small that gap is really because we'll uh, be adjusting it with the main throttle top screw which does the whole rack anyway so that's the way i do it right that's it definitely it for now thanks very much for watching everybody thanks for your interest any comments and subscriptions and uh, i'll see you all again very soon cheers